Warning, this video contains graphic scenes using a sledgehammer. I want to show my analogy of YouTube. I hope the Google stuff that watches they can get a bit of a laugh about this. Here's YouTube as the Kaplunk toy. Even got a nice sticker there. I picked up a partner meeting a couple of years back. The balls in there are the channels. I suppose I, yeah, the, the blue thing could be the audience. Being quite abstract here. And this here is the, I suppose, the code. The gubbings of YouTube. You know, these sticks. And what goes on, I think, is YouTube is in a total constant phase of changing. Go and watch the film Dark City. And, you know, you might get an inkling of what YouTube's about. They're constantly pulling straws out and they're saying, oh, we'll put this straw and we'll jiggle it over here. Oh, that straw doesn't work anymore. We'll throw it away. It's gone. Don't need that bit anymore. Oh, there's another straw here. Oh, we'll put it in over here. Oh, it sort of fits over here. Oh, if it's way better over here where no one's going to find it. Because I don't think people use that anymore, do they? And they keep on pulling straws. And they keep on, you know, taking stuff out. Oh, all those straws are the old straws. Oh, no. Someone's channel's just fallen through. Oh, that's all right. Um... Okay, little channel, here's your options. You can start from scratch, or you can just go away. What do you want to do? I can't hear you. Okay, go away, you've been rude to me. There's my, <laughs> that's my analogy. Hey, I'm still, I'm still a comedian in all this saga. Well, sure, it's one thing to come in and show the Kaplunk toy and talk about how YouTube is broken, but hey, let's move to a positive side to this. Let's think about a solution. I've got a solution to show Google how to, once and for all, fix this very broken site. I'm pretty sure anyone who's had a tinker with computers knows that sometimes, as years go on, the best thing to do to fix problems is to format your computer. I think the perfect person to format YouTube is Wreck-It Ralph, before the very clever and computer savvy Fix-It Felix comes in and rebuilds the database. Luckily for me, I have a Wreck-It Ralph who's strapped to this hammer. This hammer is called Mr. Hammer. And I think the best thing for YouTube is to come in and pull it down and start from scratch. So Google, save a lot of time, save a lot of money, stop friggin' with the riggin'. And let's get this puppy fixed once and for all. Okay, time for the perfect fix for a very busted YouTube. Here we go. One, two, three. And you know what? I can still see bits of defective code in there. We're going to have to really clean this side up. Here comes a big one.
Well, let's come in and look at the wreckage chaos. We've come in and we've formatted YouTube in the most bizarre way. We've taken to it with a big hammer. In fact, two hammers. You know, sometimes you've got to come in and do a big clean sweep of things, just like this. And if you're starting off with a nice fresh patch there, you can build up possibly a far grander YouTube than what we have today. Because unfortunately, the YouTube that we have today is basically built up of patch upon patch upon patch. It's sort of interesting, Record Ralph has lost an arm, but there's actually another video where he loses an arm. I've worked out, you can sort of put that back in there. And as always, a little moose trash bag has come down to play. You know, zombies creep me out, and it's probably something worse than a zombie is when you have a zombie and the torso is missing. The torso went flying somewhere. I can't find it. There's its legs, there's its arms. And the funny thing about this toy is, you're probably thinking, well, Leo, isn't that a toy that's meant to fly apart? Well, this toy, which we did a review about a while back, um, it, I got so sick and tired of it falling apart, just like the you know, breath of air would hit it and it'd fall apart. I glued it together with Araldite, and that's why they sort of, well, this one survived a fair bit of punishment with the hammer hitting the table. I think it's a great looking toy, but unfortunately, as it's, you know, you meant to press the tie and it's meant to fall apart, it was just a little bit unstable, and I just knew that in time there'd be parts missing. But then again, I suppose if there's parts missing from a zombie, <laughs> that's sort of normal. <laughs> well, there's the base of the Kaplunk toy. I tell you what, it took a fair bit of whacking. Mind you, it's a bit of a classic toy, and I dare say they've got the design to be very robust, although they would never be designed to basically meet sledgehammers. Hey, look at that. There's Dora the Explorer there. Hi, Dora. Bye, Dora. And here's the part here, which I said was like the, you know, the part that Google keeps playing with the code of YouTube because we've got to keep changing and improving. Well, that's been smashed to smithereens. Time to start over. And what really did take a pounding in that manic sledgehammering was all the toys at the back here. Those jars have come ajar. Ha ha ha. Lots of things have uh, basically, you know, this thing's whole moved now. Look at that. That's a real wrecking site. There's stuff here. There's old toys falling over. That record Ralph has fallen down. Probably trying to save his mate. Look at this here. It's a big mess. A real big mess. And maybe it's a time they're going to come in and basically redo all these toys. There's, I think there's about 15 videos that you'll probably see the old toy table. But maybe in the future sometime you will see something fresh and something spangly new. Well, I'm making this video on Tuesday the 19th of August. I need you to see that because my YouTube channel has just been fixed. Can you believe that? Fix it, Felix has finally come in and done the job and somehow things are working again. Although it's about 90% right, there's still a section, a very important section missing, but I can struggle on without that section. One wonders what was going on there. And I'll tell you what, I am very pleased that my channel is back up and functioning. I suppose if my channel gets fixed, I better fix Wreck-It Ralph. But the scary part for me is how long will my channel remain fixed? I had a lot of problems back in 2013. I've had a massive problem this year in 2014, and I'll explain it like this for the fact that I basically missed out on the whole of the USA summertime, which is my winter time, and that's actually the most important time for me to upload videos because that's the summer break in the USA. A massive bulk of my viewership is derived from the American audience, and I'm very, very appreciative of that. And it's really sad that you know during the summer of 2014 I was basically vacant on YouTube. You know, it's going to take a lot of catching up to um, fill the gap there. But Fix It Felix has come along after sort of basically a couple of days shy of three months, and we are back up and running. You know, I'm very lucky. I've got some people who've known me for a long time on YouTube. I've got some fantastic top fans, and I've got some people who really supported me in the last three months on YouTube. I'm sort of glad I can get back to uploading. My channel is about 90% fixed. There's a little section of it which is still missing. It's a section I can't discuss openly here, but I'm sure in time it'll be fixed. You know, one thing I'd like to say is that if you are engaged with the Google staff or up on the forums and everything, um, try to remain googly, try to remain positive. I think that's something I tried to do this year. I mean, I had problems last year. I sort of got hampered by those problems last year, but this year I'm thinking, well, in the end, things will come good. It's just a matter of waiting it out. Uh, I don't exactly know what would happen or what changed to get my channel up and running again. 
I'm really yet to, to find out uh, from the staff themselves. But then again, they possibly won't tell me because last year they didn't tell me either. Remembering everything sort of secret squirrel on YouTube. Well, anyway, you know, the analogy of the Kaplunk toy and YouTube and the fact that it's a bit of an old database. You know, Kaplunk's a very old classic toy. Hopefully I brought something together to give you a bit of stimulation to make you think about how things work and maybe to always remain googly. Probably the last person you'd ever expect to hear that from. Anyway, as always, I'd like to say thank you for watching and bye for now. You know, the funniest thing starts to happen when you get the hammers out. You know, random stuff happens, things jump about. And I thought to myself, well, where was Diesel 10? Wasn't he down on this table here? I can see Salty here. And Percy, these are like your bath time, you know, things. That's the one that um, the lizard fell in love with. And guess where Diesel 10 ended up? <gasps> he jumped clear of the distraction site. What a sneaky Diesel 10. Can you imagine that? Now, I've got a feeling he is not been hit. Oh, maybe he got hit. There's a bit of a, what do you call it, plastic distressing on the top there. He must have been hit and he jumped for his life. Nevertheless... He's a survivor. Well, how about that? There's a dynamic duo, if ever I've seen it.